Russian territory is under attack of Western weapons. Putin warned about this. Russian President Vladimir Putin warned of serious consequences if Western countries allowed Ukraine to use their weapons to strike Russia. This constant escalation can lead to serious consequences, Putin said. In Europe, especially in small countries, they should be aware of what they are playing with, he added. The Russian leader said leaders should bear in mind the small territory and dense population of many European countries. And this fact which they should keep in mind before they talk about striking deep into Russian territory is a serious thing. He said that while Ukraine would carry out the strikes, the responsibility for them would lie with Western suppliers of the weapons. They want a global conflict, he added. But although warning of Putin, the AFP agency, citing numerous Western sources, said that Ukraine has used Western weapons to deliver strikes on Russian territory more than once. According to the agency, a strike was delivered west of Krasnodar. It did not specify, however, which facility was targeted. The agency asked retired French colonel Michel Goya to comment on the use of Western weapons against targets in Russian territory, and he said that history shows that military assistance of one country to another has never led to a conflict. Moscow has been saying that Crimea is inviolable. Ukrainians struck it with American weapons and nothing happened, he said. At present, calls are mounting among Western nations to allow attacks on Russian territory using weapons that they have sent the Ukrainian military, an issue that is taking on greater urgency as Russia builds up troops on the border in preparation for a possible offensive, according to officials in Ukraine. Recently, the NATO Parliamentary Assembly, made up of lawmakers from countries belonging to the military alliance, adopted a declaration urging NATO members to lift a ban on firing Western weapons into Russia. That came after similar calls by NATO's top official Jens Stoltenberg and government ministers in Poland, Lithuania, Latvia and Sweden. Ukraine has complained in recent months that the ban allows Russian forces to launch attacks from inside Russian territory without risk and hampers its ability to repel them. That disadvantage became clear this month when Russia started a new offensive near the city of Kharkiv, just south of the Sumy region, after amassing troops and equipment just across the border. Я Ну, ладно. Не, она однозначно. Что вот такая? Да, да, она корень. Ну, не только она, нормально, да. Это среди них уже допущено. Да, слушай, да. Все? Я думал, ты готов пушить. Ну, давай. Давай, давай. Надо борт. Четвертый будет. Так, так, так. Вот. Четыре буя. Да, с каждой стороны. На самом деле. Получается, что маловая лодка. Казанская пять. Лодка Джокера, блядь. Так-то Михаил Шумакин испытывает. То есть, я. После первых испытаний делаем доработки. Пинаплэш. Закидываю. Потом наливаем монтажную пену. Дальше ставим по бортам и по буев. Були. Казанка пятая с булями. Вот она примерно так будет. Если они на ту, то что По четыре на каждый борт будет. Мы победим. А ее сколько есть? Ну, я стою,